All right, so now let's change the DNS of our domain. So if you have purchased your domain from Namecheap, then follow this step. If you have purchased it from GoDaddy, you can skip this video and do that for another video. So uh, uh, one more thing before we proceed, if you have taken your domain from Bluehost itself, then your hosting and your domain is from one location. So you don't have to do this, you can skip this step. So follow this instruction only if you have taken your domain or bought your domain from Namecheap and hosting from Bluehost or hosting from somebody else, all right? But from this point onwards in this entire journey, I will be using my domain registrar as Namecheap and hosting as Bluehost. On top of that, for whatever instructions or demonstrations or website building, uh, the website which I would be using for demonstration purpose would be marketingwithsmile.com. This is the domain which I would be using for all demonstration purpose in real time so that I can practically show you everything. So as you can see, uh, you would be able to see inside your domain list when you log into your Namecheap account, inside your domain list, you will be able to see your domain. Right on this side, you will see manage, click on manage. And on the next screen, you will see something like name servers below this domain, all right, name servers. So click on this name servers, Namecheap basic DNS and click on custom DNS. And there would be two different segments, name server one, name server two. So this is something which we have to change. Now how to get this? Go to your Bluehost account now and your Bluehost account, click on domains, click on assign, and click on the second option which says use a domain that is not already associated with your account and just write the domain which you are trying to change the dns so now for me it says the domain is currently associated to but unassigned in your account now probably you won't get this message what you will get is uh, you you will be able to see something like change your name servers to ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com so just copy and paste those two things and paste it over here like this ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com all right and click on this green color tick which says save right over here and it would say DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take. Now, usually this update happens within like less than 10 minutes, but at times it might not uh, because of some propagation delay and technical terms, which we don't have to deal with, but uh, just, just uh, try and go to Bluehost again and again and do this procedure over here by refreshing the page. And if you get the same message, that means it has not been uh, assigned right now it has not been updated in the DNS so once it is done over here you would see something like the domain is verified now all right you will see a message like domain is verified now now the reason why you are not able to see something which I am seeing is because I have already done this procedure once with this domain earlier and because of which like I cannot show you the original message because once it is gone it is gone I cannot show you that all right so now all you have to do is assign this domain. Once you are able to see domain is associated, then you click on assign this domain. Now make sure guys, when you click on assign this domain, it might not reload the page and you might feel that nothing is happening, something is stuck or your PC has hanged or something like that. But that's a small little bug in this Bluehost, which I feel because at times, this kind of thing happen. Even I am feeling the same right now. So what you need to do is in that case, click on reload or maybe you can click on my domains.
and try to see if your domain is there or not all right let's search for it marketing with smile.com search there you go so for me it is being uh, like like listed over here that means it is already assigned so if i click on this down arrow i can see unassigned that means it is now assigned all right so my dns has changed for this domain the successful step is there <laughs> this is what you have to uh, check like double check here and there because nobody will tell you all these small little things but if you just carefully observe all these things I'm sure you will figure out more and more practicality and your experience will also grow so let me know if you have any doubts any queries with respect to like assign or uh, like linking the domain changing the DNS in the comments below this video and I'll, I'll try to rectify all your mistakes as much as possible hope you enjoyed this I'll see you in the next one